Hey everyone and welcome back. So today's eShop deals video is going to be a massive one because right now the Nintendo Switch eShop has so many awesome games on sale that there was no way I could cut down the list beyond 30 games. And honestly, this is probably coming at a pretty good time because so far the month of April does seem like it'll have some sneak releases here and there. But other than the end of the month, there are no massive, massive releases set for the month of April. So it's actually a great time to launch these sales and maybe pick up a couple of games we missed along the way. So just a quick warning that with so many games to look at this week, I will be probably moving a little quicker than usual, especially for those AAA titles that I'm pretty sure everyone already knows about. Also, just a quick reminder, just in case you're new to the channel or the series, that I don't go over the deals that were present in last week's video. So it's always important that if you want a full lay of the land and really all the deals that I'm currently recommending, to at least check out last week's video as well, because a lot of the deals are still active on the eShop this week. Now, the last thing before we get started, as usual, don't forget that if you like these videos and you want to see more, the best way to support the channel is to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, the first game on our list is one of those that needs very little introduction, and that is Among Us. This is a great community game, and it's even better when you're playing with friends. And this game probably came such a hit because it fell in a time where everyone needed to feel connected, although we couldn't necessarily be in the same room together. Among Us is just a great deduction game where someone is randomly chosen to be the imposter, and basically the crew members have to work together to figure out who that is. If unfortunately he manages to kill all the crew members before you figure it out, well guess what? The imposter wins. And currently at 20% off for only $4, this is a great title to pick up on the Nintendo Switch. Now the next game is another game that probably needs very little introduction and that is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Now this game came out quite a few years ago, but the reason why it's still around today and it's still normally sold at full price is because this is a great all-around game that just aged very very well for the Nintendo Switch. And currently at 50% off, it's pretty much the lowest you can pick up this game for on the Switch. So at $29.99, this is a great time if you want a huge medieval action game. There's no better way to describe it because this game, you can pour hundreds and hundreds of hours into it and still not see everything that this game has to offer. Now the next game is one that I had to mention even though there's only two days left on the sale and that is Retromania Wrestling. Look, this game just came out last week and if you're a fan of arcade wrestling games, this is probably the best you can currently find, not only on the Switch but pretty much on every modern console. Because let's be honest, what WWE's been offering in the last few years through 2K games has been subpar at best description. And basically, right now, since it's just launched, there's a 15% discount, dropping the game down to $25.49. And honestly, just to support the developer, because this is a love project that I really want to support, I will honestly recommend that everyone who could be into this game pick it up. Let's show this developer that we want more awesome retro wrestling games. Now, the next game is probably my top choice for this week and that is Doom Eternal, that is finally on sale for 50% off at $29.99. And to be honest, it probably is going to be quite a while before we see a sale that would be anywhere better than this. And Doom Eternal basically is the best shooter single player campaign that you can currently find on the Switch. I, I'm ready to go to the front for that, and I myself picked it up this week because I was waiting for this sale. I had already played the game on other consoles, but I was waiting to pick it up on the Switch to have that portability. Now the next game is always amazing value when the sale comes around, and that is Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy that is currently 50% off at $19.99. Basically it is the remake of the first three Crash Bandicoot games. So yes, you get three full remakes for $20. This is just some amazing value for anyone who's into 3D action platformers. And if you've never played a Crash Bandicoot series before, this is probably a perfect entry point. Just a fair mention, the first one is pretty much the most difficult of all the games. So if you want to ease your way into it, start with the second and third, and then play the first one if you want a challenge. 
If you're not scared of a challenge, start with the first one. So next on today's list, we have another game that I love when it falls on sale, and that is Diablo 3 The Eternal Collection that is also currently 50% off, dropping the price to $29.99. If you love dungeon crawling, Diablo 3 is a perfect entry. Personally, my favorite Diablo of all time is the second one, and I really hope the remake makes its way onto the Switch. But if not, while we're waiting for that, Diablo 3 is a perfect way to fill the void while we're waiting for that other release. And currently at 50% off, it is once again pretty much the lowest price it ever hits on the Nintendo Switch. Now the next game on our list is another collection that I love when it is on sale, and that is the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, which is again a remake of the first three Spyro games. So again, we're getting three games for under $20, because currently the collection is 50% off as well. And basically, if you've never played the Spyro series, this is basically a 3D collectathon game. What I love about this series, though, is it's great for adults that have played the originals and want to re-experience them with updated graphics, but is also much more friendly for younger gamers. Because other than Crash Bandicoot, which is much more on the difficult side, Spyro is much more on the friendly side for new coming gamers. Now, the next game I want to take a look at is Dead by Daylight which is also 50% off at $14.99, making it one of the lowest prices it's ever been on the Switch. And this is once again a game that is great to play with other people. With people that you know, it really enhances the gameplay. Basically, people are dropped into a map, one player is playing the serial killer, four people are playing the survivors, and the point is to basically escape the map before the serial killer manages to kill each one of the players. You can work in co-op, you can work on your own, it's all your choice. So next on the list, we have one of my all-time favorite platformers on the Nintendo Switch, and that is Sonic Mania. That is also 50% off, that seems like the magic number this week, dropping the price to $9.99. Basically, this is one of the best platformers you can get on the Nintendo Switch. Why? Because it brings back the original classic Sonic series, and you can see that this is a love letter to the original series. It was actually a fan-made game that was picked up by Sega, so it originally wasn't even really developed by Sega itself, it was published by them. And you can see that this is a project born out of love for the original series because you even revisit some of the original stages and it is all done in fantastic fashion. At the same time, bringing the gameplay up to par for a game on current consoles. This is just all around an amazing platformer. Even if you've never played a Sonic game, this is an excellent entry point. Now, the next game that we're going to look at is part of a series, the Lego series. And every time these are on sale, I pretty much point them out because I do find that they're awesome value for what they're offering. A laid back action platformer that just gives you a ton of content and really humorous storylines, reliving some of the classic movies that we all know. Now, we won't go into details into each one of the Lego games because we have so many games to look at this week, but I will show them as we go by each one of the series. As I say every week, if you want to pick one of these up, Either go with whichever one is at a price that you feel is fair, or go with the series that you love. If you're into Harry Potter, pick up the Lego Harry Potter. If you're into Jurassic Park, pick up the Lego Jurassic Park. If you're into the superhero ones, pick up the superhero ones. Currently, they're all at minimum 75% off. And for $12.49, like for this one, to play through all six Harry Potter episodes, this is a great, great value. Overall, like I said, we won't go into details into each one, but these are also great for younger gamers. Now, the next game on the list is one of the most well-known fighting franchises all around, and that is Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. Now, I'm showing the Ultimate Edition here because it is currently 50% off at $29.99, and you pretty much get all the DLC characters right away from the start. And I'll be honest, if you want to really get into Mortal Kombat, you're better off dropping right now the $30 to get the bundle. I will mention, however, that the game on its own, if you just want to try out the base game, is also 70% off, dropping the price to $14.99. But basically, if you calculate in all the DLC, you're way better picking up the Ultimate Bundle. But both games are on sale, so if you want a cheap entry point, you have just the base game. If not, you can pick up the full Ultimate Package 
for only $29.99, which is pretty amazing considering all the DLC characters that have come out so far. Now, I've got to tell you, there are so many crazy deals this week that it is actually scary. And the next game is another one I just had to mention, and that is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered that is currently 50% off, dropping the price to $19.99, one of the lowest prices it's ever been on the Switch once again. And basically, this is no holds barred, currently my favorite arcade style racer available on the Switch. The remaster is very well done on the Switch. The pretty much only thing that isn't great about this game is the trailer. That pretty much sucked. But other than that, this is an amazing game to pick up. So we jump from one of my favorite arcade racer games that's on sale to one of my favorite metroidvanias that is also on sale and that is Ori and the Blind Forest the Definitive Edition that is currently also on sale at 30% off for $13.99 and this is once again one of the lowest prices it's ever been it doesn't really get much lower than 30% off why because this game even sells well at full price if you want a first experience in a metroidvania I've said it time and time again Ori and the Blind Forest is that perfect mix of a difficult adventure for those that want a challenge, but also an excellent entry point for someone that wants their first try at a Metroidvania. Now, the next game I want to mention is a game that I mentioned because currently the Mario Party we have on the Switch is really lackluster. And instead of that, I really recommend everyone looking for an awesome party game with a ton of different types of obstacles to pick up Mario and Sonic at the Olympics Games Tokyo 2020. And currently at 33% off, it is once again one of the best available prices and for a half first party title, it generally doesn't get much lower than this. Best thing, the game has a free downloadable demo. So if you want to try out some of the game modes before deciding if you need to purchase this game, go and give it a try. So as I mentioned earlier, we were going to point out some of the LEGO games as we went along. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 is 75% off. This is pretty much the cheapest one at $7.49. Great for anyone who's into the Marvel franchise. Also, what I love about this one is it's an original storyline. Now, next, we have pretty much one of my all-time favorite beat-em-ups currently on the Switch, and that is Streets of Rage 4. Once again, the perfect way to bring an old classic series back into modern days. Beautiful cell-shaded graphics, Awesome smooth gameplay, tons of playable characters, and plus now it's at its lowest ever available price on the Switch at 35% off for $16.19. This is basically an amazing all around beat em up. So if you want a awesome blend of old school beat em up and new school gameplay, this is the best entry. It's right up there with Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Next is a bundle that I wanted to mention because there are probably a lot of gamers out there that have played the originals and honestly this is a pack now that at 50% off I say it's finally a decent pickup. That is the Disney Classic Games Aladdin and the Lion King which is 50% off for $9.99. Now what is crazy about these games is even though they're based on a Disney franchise these were some of the hardest platformers I've played on the Sega Genesis and Super NES. Basically, these games were not made for kids because of their difficulty level. And I actually finished them for the first time as an adult, replaying them on my classic systems. So anyone who wants a really challenging platformer based around The Lion King and Aladdin, this is a really awesome time to pick up the games at 50% off. Now, the next game on our list is the remastered version of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, which is a remake of an awesome GameCube game. This is basically an action RPG version of Final Fantasy that what it was so original in the time is it had multiplayer co-op available, which is something that is rarely seen in a Final Fantasy series. Once again, this one has a free downloadable demo if you need to convince yourself that you want to pick it up. But currently, it's once again at its lowest ever available price on the Switch at 40% off, dropping the price to $17.99. Honestly, if you have multi multiple people to play with in your house, this is a great time to pick up the game. Now, we jump from one action RPG series to another with Ease Origin being my next suggestion. Currently at 60% off for $7.99, this is a great classic action RPG series. Anyone who's into that genre should definitely try this one out for this week. This is a great budget price to pick it up as well. Now, the next one I just want to highlight quickly is another one of the LEGO games, 
Lego Jurassic World that is also 75% off at $9.99. If you're really into the Jurassic Park slash world franchise, this is another great one to take a look at. Now, the next game that we're going to look at is actually one of the best value collections on the Switch. Even at its full price, I strongly recommend this collection. So right now at 50% off for $14.99, you are getting some amazing value. That is the Sega Genesis Classics Collection, which has it counted over 50 classic Sega games in it. And we're not talking about B-tier games that no one knows about. We're talking about Golden Axe, Rise Star, the original Sonic games, we're talking about Streets of Rage. These are some great classics. If you want a ton of retro games at a low, low price, this is your best stop for this week. Now this week, the whole Doom franchise is on sale, but I'm only going to be talking about my top picks because honestly, all of them are good. But with the number of games we had for this week, I picked out my top picks and Doom 64 is always one of my top picks at 50% off for only $2.49 because you get some really cl awesome classic Doom action. And why I recommend this game so much is most people haven't played it because it was locked on the Nintendo 64 for so long. I mean, there were, uh, were non-legit ways of playing the game, but legitimately for the longest time, the only way to play this game was on the old Nintendo 64. What is great is it's finally open to a new generation of gamers. I think that everyone should try this one out, especially at only $2.49. Now, the next game that I want to recommend is Crisis Remastered. This is another great first person FPS shooter with a great single player campaign. The only thing with this week having the whole Doom franchise on sale, I would definitely say that Doom is notches above this one, meaning that if you have to choose between the two, pick up Doom first. Crisis Remastered, the sales come around in a regular, regular fashion, so there will be other times to pick it up. But if not, it is still once again hitting its lowest price of 45% off, dropping it to $16.49. So if you already played the Doom franchise or you're not into it, this is another great first person shooter. Now, the next game I want to suggest is another one from the Doom franchise, and that is Doom 3. And I always recommend this one because of its price. When it's 50% off for only $5, you're basically getting where the Doom series shifted from its classic form to what we recognize more today. Obviously, it is not as perfected as Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal, but this is really where Doom shifted into the real third dimension. And it is a great experience at only $5. You're getting a awesome, awesome game nonetheless on the Nintendo Switch for a low, low price. Now, next on the list, we have my personal favorite kart racing game on the Nintendo Switch because it isn't Mario Kart, although I really love that game as well. My favorite is Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled which is currently 50% off at $19.99. It is a kart racing game, but free featuring the Crash Bandicoot series. But what I love about this one is this one is fairly more difficult than Mario Kart. This is one that you really have to learn the tracks if you want to win. And also there aren't as many catch up mechanics if you're not doing well in a race. So you can't depend on those to basically catch up to the other players. So this will be one of the last stops for the Lego series, although there are many more games than the ones I'm showing, just to let you all know. I'm just stopping on a few of my favorites. This is Lego DC Super Villains. This is actually my current favorite on the Nintendo Switch. It is 80% off, dropping the price to $11.99. It was just a ton of fun to play the villains for once. And honestly, once again, it's an original storyline, which is what really drew me more into this game than replaying the movie series that I already know what's going to happen. Now, the next game that we're going to look at on the list is one that I'm finally really happy is getting a sale, and that is Puyo Puyo Threat Tetris 2. That's currently 25% off, dropping it to $29.99. Number one, this game just came out last year. And secondly, it is a guilty pleasure of mine because I regularly play this with my family. What I love is because it combines Tetris and Puyo Puyo, it is great for people of all ages because Puyo Puyo is a little easier to pick up for younger kids, while Tetris is a challenge for adults or people that are a little bit more experienced in puzzle type games. And that is why my family can actually play this because my eight year old plays Puyo Puyo while me and my wife and the older kids are playing Tetris. And everyone has a fair chance of winning that way. And 
ultimately, whether you are playing on your own or with other people, this is ultimately just a all around great puzzle game. Now, the next game is the last Doom game I'm going to be mentioning for this week, and that is Doom 2016, which was the original remake of Doom. And basically, this game is also 50% off for $29.99, which is once again one of its lowest prices it's ever been on the Switch. And basically, if you have to choose between this and Doom Eternal, I would definitely say start with Doom Eternal this week since they're both at the same price. However, if you haven't played Doom 2016 or if you were waiting to pick up both games, now is a great chance to do it. Now, the next game we're going to take a look at is another kart style racing game, and that is Team Sonic Racing, which by the title you can tell is featuring the Sonic characters this time around. This game, however, is easier to pick up. So if Crash Team Racing is worrying you because I said it was difficult, Team Sonic Racing is much more easy as an entry point. However, it does have a team dynamic where you basically play with other members and you have to help each other out. And it's not only you have to win the race, but your teammates have to do well to progress on in the game. Right now at 33% off for $19.99, it is another great pickup for this week. Now, the next game I want to suggest is Oddworld New and Tasty, which is currently 66% off, dropping the price all the way to $9.99. Now, this is basically a 2D puzzle platformer set in the Odd World universe. And I was waiting for this game to drop down because although I really enjoyed it, I don't think it was worth the $30 that it is at full price, considering all the competition we have on the Switch. However, at $9.99, now this becomes an awesome pickup for this week. Now, the next game that is on my list is one that I couldn't wait for another sale to hit because unfortunately they don't come around too often and I couldn't wait to talk about this game on the channel and that is Blazing Chrome. That is currently 60% off, dropping the price to $6.79. Now, this is a 2D run and gun shooter in the Contra style and it is an awesome one at that. If there is one game that you should definitely pick up this week after Doom, I would say Blazing Chrome on the budget end is your best pickup for this week. This is one of my favorite run and gun shooters on the Nintendo Switch currently. So next on our list, we have another great 2D platformer, and that is Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap. That is once again also a budget entry for this week because it is 60% off, dropping the price to $7.99. Look, graphics are great in this game. The gameplay is extremely solid. And on top of that, it is just a ton, a ton of fun, which is the most important point for a 2D platformer. If you are looking for another great entry for this week, Wonder Boy is another amazing pickup. Now, another game that doesn't get a sale too often, but that is a great, great value is Kunai, which is basically a Metroidvania with a really amazing art style. What I love the most about this game is the visual presentation. And on top of it, if you need any convincing for yourself, this one comes with a free downloadable demo. But currently at 60% off for $6.79, trust me, you are getting an amazing Metroidvania. If you're looking for another budget entry for this week, Kunai is an amazing pickup. Now, the next fighting game that we're going to look at is Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. And currently I have the bundle up because I'll be honest, the base game is only $12.99 and the bundle with the downloadable characters is $19.49. If you're going to jump into this game, pay the extra $7 for the downloadable characters. It is really worth it. And personally, right now, this is actually the competitive fighting game that I'm playing online. I really love this game. And it's really odd that it's coming from the Power Rangers franchise. A lot of people dismiss this game at first, thinking it to be a really cheap cash grab but it is not. It has a solid fighting system and the community is pretty present for this game. So if you want a really amazing and easy 2D fighter to get into, although with a very high ceiling, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid is an amazing game to pick up right now. And on top of it, it's a great competitive fighting game to get in on on the cheap. So I hope you're still sticking in there because we're almost done our list. We only have about two or three more games to look at. And the next one I want to take a look at is MotoGP20. That is currently 75% off for $9.99. Now, 
Now, it's no surprise that this game is getting a sale because MotoGP 21 is releasing this month. But you know what? The 20 is an excellent entry as well. And as I did for WRC last week in last week's list, I'm going to say the same thing about MotoGP. When series have so many entries, there often isn't that huge of a difference between the 20 and the 21st edition. And basically, when you always play the previous one, you can get some amazing value. If you're into simulation motorcycle racing, this is an excellent entry on the Switch. And right now at $9.99, you're getting a really complete game at a low, low price. Now, the next game on our list is going to be an uber budget entry, but one that is amazing. That is the Gunman Clive HD collection that is 50% off for $2.49. And this is another collection, even at its full price of $5 is more than worth it. Basically, it is a 2D action platformer, sort of in the Mega Man style, but with a really amazing visual art style. As you can see, it looks like all the graphics have been hand drawn. If you want a awesome 2D platformer at a low, low price for this week, this is another amazing entry. Now, the last entry on our list for this week is going to be for my challenge seekers, and that is Tanuki Justice. That is currently 33% off its lowest price. It's been on the eShop for $9.99. Now, this is a 2D action platformer slash bullet hell type gameplay, and it is really, really difficult. So once again, as I said, it is for my challenge seekers this week, but honestly, it is also extremely rewarding. When you get good at this game, you really feel good about it. And Tanuki Justice, I honestly think didn't get the love it deserved because it is a love letter to classic 2D action platformers of its genre. So we finally did it. Look, we looked at easily almost 35 games this week. The list was immense, but I just couldn't trim it down any further. Also, just a quick reminder that we now do a separate video for all the best games under $5. I did sneak in a few on this list, but trust me, this week's list is going to be packed. So that video will be launching around Wednesday. Make sure to tune in if you're looking for the best Uber budget deals for this week. Now, last thing before we go, as I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget that if you want to help support the channel, the best way to do that is to hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.